that this is all great and good, but what I want you to consider this morning is the fact that these same folks that were so excited on Sunday were the same folks that come Friday were wanting to see him crucified. Or at least they didn't stand in the way. You know, for us today, it's easy to come into church and get excited about Jesus. We think about Easter next Sunday. And we're going to have a special breakfast. And, and we're going to think about what Jesus has done for us. And we're thankful that he forgave his sins. And we come together to be excited and to worship him. And even to one another. You know, faithfulness means to be true to one's own word. Promises or vows. To be steady in allegiance or affection. To be loyal, to be constant, to be reliable, to be trusted or believed, to be full of faith and believing. These folks lacked faithfulness. You know, the people we hear about in this scripture passage lacked that kind of faithfulness. They weren't reliable. Uh, they didn't, you know, continue that enthusiasm for Jesus. And it invited me to think about for myself, and I invite you this morning to think about, what is, uh, what level of faithfulness do you have? And do you express it in your life? For God, and also for each other. Let me remind you of some other scripture here that tells us some things about faithfulness. Deuteronomy 32, 20. It says there, he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end will be. For they are a perverse generation, children in whom there is no faithfulness. What does God say? He says, I'm going to hide my face from them because they have chosen not to be faithful. They have not obeyed me. They have not been reliable. They have not consistently followed me. God is looking for people, children, who will be faithful. Joshua 24, 14 says, Now therefore revere the Lord and serve Him in sincerity and in faithfulness. 